Yeah. Hiya folks, uh, welcome to the House Pro webinar on takeoffs and estimates. So myself and Keith here are going to run you through the best practices when getting set up uh, on the Pows Pro system to be able to do your material takeoff and then when you do that, turn that into an estimate. So just to give you a, a quick overview of what we're going to run through, streamlining your business to move to that online uh, and do your takeoffs on screen how to set up your templates. And we're gonna give you some live demo examples of concrete, drywall, cladding and roofing, just to give you a flavor of the tools that are available and how you can apply them to your project. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll turn what we do on the canvas into an estimate and show you how you can send that to your clients. So just by way of intros, uh, my name is Jonathan. Uh, over the last 10 years, I've been working in construction in one way or another. And um, five years ago, I, I turned my focus on to helping small to medium sized contractors with their estimating and takeoffs. So it's just about streamlining how they've done their business and uh, yeah, just really helping them out. Uh, I suppose it, in my time in the industry, I, I've worked with some kind of big softwares and what, what that tends to be is for, for those commercial guys. So if they have, you know, estimators sitting in-house in the office from nine to five, those softwares work really well for them. So what we've done is we've teamed up with House Pro and we've developed a really simple to use tool for the guys who are actually out on site, who are running crews uh, and who don't, they're, they're time poor. So, you know, getting their estimates out at the end of the day is, uh, can be laborious. And so that's what we've aimed to, uh, to fix with House Pro. And uh, I'll turn you over to Keithy here for an intro. Hey guys, how are you? Um, my name's Keith. I'm a carpenter and builder by trade. I've uh, been on the tools and ran my own businesses for about 15 years. We've done projects, every, everything from doing decks to like $20 million houses. So it's given me a great insight into the industry. And really when I was running my business, I wish I had something like House Pro, uh, something really simple to use to just help me uh, get estimates together. I used to really hate coming home at nighttime and having to get out the paper plans and highlighters and stuff like that. Where, and I've been integral in building this system that is simple to use for builders and subcontractors. So uh, if we're ready, John, will we jump into having a look around the product? Let's do that. Okay, great. So just a quick look inside uh, House Pro. We're in our projects dashboard. We've created a project. We're going to click in, into that one. And you'll see on the left-hand side, there's now a tab for takeoffs. So we're going to click on that. Okay, and we're going to land inside in this page. And we're just going to gloss over uh, the page. Well, everything you need to know can be found in this learning hub up here. So, so a quick look at that. So this is going to show you all of the tools and functionalities in like 30 second snippet videos or screenshots. If you have any questions, they will be answered in here. Um, here's your plans on the left hand side. You can see I've made a few measurements already. The measurements appear up here on the left or on the right hand side. Uh, your tools are across the top. You can navigate between plans here if you have say structurals and architecturals. Um, so let's just dive in, I think, and get stuck into doing an example. Um, we'll zoom in slightly here and let's, uh, let's quantify the material we're going to need for a construction slab for this garage space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the polygon tool. Uh, that's going to get me an area. I'm going to make it a new group that we're going to call a concrete slab. Uh, we're going to add it to favorites. What adding it to favorites means is that it's going to be on my account for all the jobs that I do. So the next time around, when I come in, I don't have to set it up again. I'll show you how to get to that just now. Uh, we'll add it to favorites, create group. So just to give you a quick look on how to get to that, just select the polygon tool, and then you hit this drop down, and you can see in here we've got the concrete slab already set up. Okay, so we click in one corner to start, and we click around the outside. Uh, just dropping a, a point on every corner and then we when we get back to the start back to where we started we double click to finish and you can see over here on the right hand side well that's giving me uh that's giving me the area measurement that i need for uh here so it's 77.47 meters squared so you're thinking to yourself okay that's great but we need to get the volume of concrete so this 
uh, cube here, you can see it allows you to add the height, width, or depth to any measurement. So we'll click on that one. Uh, we're gonna add the depth, and the depth of this one is gonna be 100 mil. So we put in 0.1 of a meter and we press done. So you can see here that for the slab here, we've got 7.75 meters cubed of concrete needed. Okay, so just moving on, uh, we'll, we'll get into things uh, quite quickly, but we can see here that we've measured some uh, lengths of walls here. So that was for uh, drywall for this house. So again, I've already created that group, so I can just go ahead and grab it. Uh, we got It's in the length tool, so uh, it's gonna be a linear measurement. We grab the drywall, and I'll just show you how you, how you get a length for any room. You click in one corner, click on the outside, and we just work around, and then we double click to finish when we get back to the start. And you see that inside this drywall group, now there's multiple measurements, because I've made these two already, and this is the third one. So that's building up a total for me. And again, you've got a linear measurement for drywall for the walls. We really need a meter squared. So how we got that, again, we clicked on this cube and we added the wall height in here. So you can see we put in there 2.7 meters. And that gives us a total of 112.37 uh, meters squared of drywall needed for uh, those three bedrooms. And again, we're just giving you examples here as we're going through. Just uh, be mindful and just be thinking about, OK, how can I use these tools to apply to whatever it is that I need to measure? Because it's really versatile. Yeah. Well, you know, what you're, what you're going over there, just if you think how time saving that is, uh, you know, think if you were printing off a set of plans with a scale ruler, trying to, you know, add up all of the drywall measurements. You know, Keith has just done that in five seconds to do the, the, the perimeter of that room. Exactly. I, when I had my construction business, I would say I would still be battling with my A3 printer trying to get it to, to connect up and to work, to even get the plans ready. So that, that's a uh, massive time save already. One thing as well, Keithy, that, that you just skipped over at the beginning, just we're automatically set as page scale as one is to 100. But, you know, plans come in all different shapes and sizes. You can do that at the bottom left of the screen. So whatever you set your uh, page scale to, the plans will calibrate. And um, so yeah, just check it out. Make sure that that they're, they're correct. That it's not one is to fifty or one is to two hundred. If they're um, um, landscaping plans, whatever it might be. Yeah, exactly. Thanks for that. Um, and I'm just going to show you here. So on the left hand side, this is, this is two different houses. So on the left hand side, we've already measured uh, the roof for house one. Uh, so I'll just give you a quick look at how we can do that and how we can add pitch really easy to get the adjusted measurement that we need for a roof. So we just grab the rectangle tool. Uh, I can give it a color of, we'll give it blue. So we just click in the corner. Because this is a nice symmetrical roof, you can see it goes from corner to corner. Uh, we can just click in the corner, drag to the opposite side and release. You see here that we've got a, a really quick instant measurement up the top. So we're going to call that roof two. Uh, and what we do, we can, we've can we seen from the other plan that there is a slope of 15 degrees in this pitch or in this roof. So we just add that in there and it gives me the adjusted meter squared needed for that roof. So we have 89.92, it brought me up to 93. So that's a great feature. And um, that was only a low pitch roof, but if you're doing something like 30 degree roof, um, on a bigger area or you need to measure lengths of rafters for ordering materials because we know that yeah you got to order timber for things like roofs like weeks in advance so you're going to have to do that from a plan so you can you can get actual lengths that you'll need for uh, for building that roof from the plans just by adjusting uh, the pitch okay we're going to jump into another plan here it's a similar one we're going to jump into the elevations and just show you how you can measure up, say, anything you need externally for uh, for your house, whether it's brickwork, cladding, uh, timber framing, whatever it might be. So you can see here that I've uh, measured this area and I've removed the windows. And um, so again, we just use that polygon tool. We, we click on here, we click around the corners um, and that will give us a total. And what I will show you now, uh, we've done that before, is just how to deduct windows from that measurement. So you just grab the deduct tool and it works like the rectangle, you just click in one corner and drag to the opposite. And you can see up here that uh, it's removing the measurement from this. So we're at 86.34 there. 
and it's brought it down to 85.21. So that's really awesome. You can just go around, cover all the external areas and then go around re removing windows and doors. It makes, uh, makes measuring uh, the externals a breeze. Uh, and look, that's really shown us how to use a lot of the functionality in Connects. Again, you can jump back into that learning hub and, and see what other uh, features are available or if you get stuck or on anything, just jump in there and have a look. There is the, the count items there as well, uh, Keithy, which is, you know, it is it does exactly what it says in the tin. If you need to count power outlets, windows, doors, uh, you just, you know, select whichever one you've you've chosen and you can just go around dropping those markers on the plans uh, as well. What will happen is uh, once you're finished with the takeoff, you can download the marked up PDFs. So, you know, if you've got all of this marked out really efficiently, uh, we'll send you those markups with a legend uh, and you can send that to your contractors or your clients. So uh, it, it's just a, another bonus. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to flip all these measurements that we've done on the plans uh, into an estimate. We click on re review an estimate on the right hand side. Uh, here, you just it's a summary of everything you've measured. So here you can go back to measure if you feel you could miss something. Uh, Jonathan just kind of told you about the marked up plan. So that's the button to get them. And we're just going to continue through and uh, start a new estimate. So what this is asking is uh, if you want to combine groups. So say if I had uh, external cladding on four different pages because the north, south, east and west elevation were on across four different pages. Uh, rather than having four line items in the estimate, I can combine those groups together, which will just give me one line item when I do get to that estimate. We don't have any of that in this plan, so we'll just keep them separate. Okay, so here we are on the estimate page. Um, up here on the left-hand side, you will have your logo, your company name, who's the client, uh, the usual stuff. You'd be used to the estimate already. Uh, and down here, you can see all the items that you've measured. So uh, I've put in a lot of costs already, so we'll just enter in a few to show you it works. For 350. Cornice, we'll call it 15, and skirting boards 15 as well. Um, so what we can do as well is in markup, we can uh, put a percentage or a dollar figure on markup, and that's really easy. And we will put a percentage here, 10%, just to show. Uh, so that adds up to the total. What you can also do is manage columns. So you can add or subtract columns as needed. So if you needed to have a separate column for labor or uh, add rooms, markup, et cetera. You can, you can play around with that. And um, on all the usual functionality that we have in the estimate, you can schedule payments, upload files, um, photographs or market plans, uh, terms and conditions, everything you've allowed for included uh, and excluded, uh, generally put in there your payment terms. And then you can request uh, an e-signature, which is a, an awesome feature as well. Uh, just jumping through to what the final quote looks like. So here it is on your company letterhead. Uh, again, just one other thing you can choose is how much information you want to show the client or builder about what you've measured. And um, a lot of people don't like to show exactly how much per, say, meter squared or for meter cubed, say, of concrete, because it leaves room for, for, um, for just uh, for trying to draw, grind you down on price per item. So it, some people like to just leave a total, which is perfect. So we jump in there to share. So there's three options. You can email directly to the client. You can create a link, which you can just copy yourself and share in an email, which uh, will give a link to, the, to this quote for the client. Or you can export as a PDF. So download and then re-upload it to like an email um, to send to the client, or you can just download it and store it in your files yourself. But you don't need to because it's always gonna be on House Pro. Uh, so, yeah, that's a really quick look and an overview about how to use the takeoff tool, some of the different functionality, a couple of use cases, and just how to really quick, quickly turn them into an estimate that will have you looking more professional and will hopefully have you winning more work in 2022. Yeah, that sounds good, Keithy. I've nothing much to add other than, you know, get in, uh, get your hands dirty with it, try and break it, uh, you know, and just see how easy it is to use and how you can use it for your trades or your projects. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks, folks.